Hey there everyone, it's Denise. Welcome to my Dear Yoga entry for today, Tuesday, March 31st. Uh, Tuesdays are tough. I don't know. Uh, so happy that this month is over. May, April, please be a better month for all of us. Um, let's see. We have another 30 days of staying put and uh, Let's see what that brings, but hopefully it's, I hope it's got to be better than this past month. So I've been busy. Uh, how have you been? Have you been keeping busy? Please share with me what you're doing uh, to keep yourself entertained and away from uh, the COVID news. Um, I've been working on videos, talking to the yoga studio. So a lot of work as it relates to yoga. Right now, I am working on, um, I'm wrapping up my sequence and my music to a class that I'm teaching tomorrow for Yoga Spark. So I'm really excited. It's my first class for them and it's live. So I'm gonna invite you to do a little bit of, of it with me uh, since I've gotta practice it anyway in my body with my music. So I figured I have my music set up, I write notes out. So I figured you could do maybe a, a few minutes of it with me and uh, get something out of it. And then um, I hope to see you real soon um, and enjoy. And send me comments, please, and definitely uh, share and like and subscribe uh, to my Dear Yoga Diary and uh, channel. Okay, thanks a lot. So I'm going to get my music started, and then I'm going to be on my back. So if you have your mat, get on your back and pull your knees into your chest. So I'm just going to get the music going. It's right over here. You can hear some of the music. I'm going to pull my knees into my chest and lift my head towards my knees and squeeze the breath out. And then I'm going to take that into a good morning stretch. I'm going to do that again. Next two. And next each. Three. Four. Last one. Good sweep. All the air up. I'm going to release my head and pick up my leg. Flex my feet and point and rotate my ankle. I'm going to leave my right leg up and lengthen my left leg down. Take my arms up to the sky, go in my belly, lift the back body up and take my arms out to the outside of my right leg, and then back. Inside of my right leg, back, and then I'm going to switch the leg. Inhale, lift, outside of the left leg, back, inside of the left leg, back. Switch. Pull the belly in and lift, out, back, in, back, switch. Out, back, in, back. Pull the knees in, give yourself a big squeeze with the head. And this time we'll work up and back. We're massaging our spine. We're warming up the core. We're using a little momentum to rock up and back. The next time you come up, look for a boat pose. So you're balancing on your sit bones and your knees can maybe let's be safe back. Roll the shoulders back and extend the arms by your side. Squeeze the knees in if you can. Point the toes. So you're here for a count of five, four, three, two, one. We're going to cross our shins and come onto our hands and knees. You're going to assemble a tabletop. Hands right underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips. I'm going to look for a couch, a catch it, chin away from the tailbone. And then a catch it. A catch it. Sit away from tailbone. Pack. Round the upper back. Last time here, a cow shake. You can curl the toes under. And you can extend the toes as you come into the cat. Take it way back to an extended child's pose. Hips land on your heels. You can shimmy from side to side. And you can pick up your palms and rock on the heels of your hands. Drop the forehead down. Hold onto the mat with your hands and pull the mat forward. Good. And then as you release the mat, open your fingers wide 
pull yourself up get the knees to be the width of your mat and create big circles in one direction and you just stick tabletop soft elbows you're going to add the head and rotate around in one direction we'll pause at center and take it over to the opposite side wide knees wide hands very supple fluid Orgasm. Pull yourself back to the center as knees come in, hands come underneath the shoulders, and then we'll go into a little oblique work. So we're going to pick up the right toes and pivot on the kneecap, extend your left leg long and lift the left arm up to the sky. So this is a bit of a modified half moon pose. So you're going to lift the left leg up, I'm going to tap knee to elbow once, and extend. Try to touch, extend. I can't even touch them. There you go. Three times. Maybe four times I will again. And five. Nice job. Release. Transfer through that table into the second side. The left toes turn. Pivot. Left hand down. Right arm up. Right leg up. And when you're ready, bend. Tap once. Twice. Three times. Four times. Ah, I can't even touch five times. I talk. <laughs> Release. Right leg. Back. Right arm down. Right into your high plank. Pedal your knees and your mouth. Stabilize yourself. Bring your ankles to touch and look for a straight line from the crown of the head to the heels. Make sure those hips are not sinking down, creating a hammock shape. No hammocks. Nice, big, tall plank. And then lift the hips up and back, down your face. Relax the head, pedal your feet and your mouth. And Get the feet to be the width of your mat and the hands to the width of your mat. Wide downward facing dog. Shift the hips way back. Heels may drop. Soften your knees and walk your hands back and back and back. With those feet wide, hold on to your elbows and sway. We're at the back of your mat, swaying to the right and to the left. Release the arms. Let them dangle and round your way up to stand. As you uncoil, you're going to take those arms and sweep them around and up and create a big star shape. Soft knees, soft elbows, and here's five pointed star. Pull the elbows in and round to fold. Go all the way down. Release the hands and walk yourself out to a high, wide plank. Hands wide, feet wide, and again, like you did before, big circles around the heels of the hands and the balls of the feet this time. With the navel nice and taut. Take that up and over to the other direction. Pull yourself through center, lift the hips up and back, wide down with facing down. Pull the feet in, pedal your feet, nice feet. We're going to bring the hands back in line with the shoulders, and then take yourself forward into a high plank. Pull the belly, drop the heels to one side, and breathe over towards your left. You're engaging your left oblique to lift yourself here in this version of a modified side plank. Just the obliques work. Second side, pick up the heels, drop them over to the opposite side. And then the pressing the ground away evenly with both hands. This right oblique, the bottom oblique, the one that's facing the mat is the one that's drawing in and lifting yourself up and then come back high plank. Lift the hips and drop the head. This is down with facing. Head on. Shift forward through a high plank, and let's rest on our forearms. Drop the forearms down. Again, a little more oblique work. Spread the fingers wide. You're going to tip your hip over to the right, and bring it through center. Hip to the right, come back through center. Right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center, come back, high plank. Hips up, head down. Pedal your feet. This time, we pedal our feet all the way to the top of the mat. See if you can pick up those heels nice and high, maybe on the balls of the feet and get there. Release the heels and fold. Wrap the arms behind your thighs and give yourself a big squeeze. Tuck the chin, breathe into the base of the skull. Release the arms and round your way up to stand. Circle those shoulders around it. Sweep the arms up to the side. Interlace the fingers, squeeze the palms, lengthen the index fingers, and then we're going to take this up and over to the left, a big extension 
over to your left. Transfer so much weight over to the left foot that you can slide your right toes off and look for a little bit of balance. Pick up the right toes off the ground. Come back to the center. Second side. I'm going to turn. Up and over to the opposite side, your left side. So, take that foot up and up now. Right foot up. Come back to the center. Release the arms. Round the shoulders. And then the hands to the top center. I leave you here. Thank you so much for coming, guys. And stopping in to check in. I hope uh, you have a great day, great evening tonight. And um, share with me what you're doing. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. So don't forget to like and share and subscribe and follow me. Uh, as I navigate through the social media, it's so hard for me. I'm learning every single day. It's monumental stuff that I'm trying to learn and... Uh, and get used to, you know, it's tough. New, new tricks at this age. Ugh. All right, well, have a great night, and I'll see you guys really soon. Take it easy.